So I was intimidated coming to this dinner because my dad loves Chris Nyland. He stands up for all the little people. So my dad used to say, go get him, Chris. So he would always yell at the TV. Sergio, I mean, iconic hockey player, Lameso. And Mitch Melnick. And Mitch Melnick. Thank you. Lachaya. Kind of. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers to you guys. And so, what does it feel like for you coming to Montreal, you're doing AHL games, and all of a sudden you get the big call, and you're surrounded by all of these guys on an everyday basis? Is that, is that intimidating? What, what, is it, what is that like for you? It, it was at first, and I remember one of the first things I did, I, I went on Mitch's show. I wasn't petrified. I think if I was a younger guy, I would have been, but even today, I was on with Chris and we were talking with Gila Fleur. It's just still, sometimes I have to kind of I say pinch myself, but I realize how lucky I am. Best team to cover today. Who, who would you like to be the voice for? Other than Montreal. Oh, Other than Montreal? I like, I like watching the Tampa Bay Lightning. I mean, I, I think they push the pace and they have some some interesting pieces there. The team's been well put together. No, I like Chicago. I mean, Chicago is my every kind time, of time. Every time you watch Chicago, you're, you're, you're getting a shot. What, what player or team would you like to be playing with today? I. I only ever wanted to play with the Canadian. I love the hat. Nice. I don't want to play for anybody else. Today, and if, if I was playing today, I'd I'd smack somebody in the head and straighten them right out. PK. And Frank Sayo. Sergio, who would you play for? I want to play for a team that sticks up for each other. And it's tough for us to watch games where guys get hammered and then nobody does it anymore. But it's really hard for us to look at that. And I want to play for a team that likes to play like in the Western Conference. To me, it's just a different brand of hockey. I don't want to play for a team that sits back and waits and counterattacks and displays defense and boring hockey. Plays his fourth line with five minutes to go trailing by two goals. In the East, it used to be top hot ass hockey, Adams Division. In out West, there were a bunch of, you know, they all tiptoed through the tour. And now it's totally the other way. Even though it's changed the game, it hasn't changed when you're playing for the cup. You know the sacrifice when they get to the finals. I'll say the playoffs are still the battle they were back in the day. And I'll, I'll say, in a lot of ways, the playoffs are tougher today, but in a lot of ways they were tougher back then. Because there was so much more slashing, letting go, cross-checking, fighting, all that stuff, and hitting. Yeah, yes, there are some violent collisions, but come on. You can't... The guy could skate with the puck and never get a stick put on his body. You know, I'd see Matt Tanazel after a game in Boston, he'd come out of welts all over his arms. Well, it's because we were <coughs> basically told to, to go after the other team's best player. And slash right and they would do, they would do the same to us and we would do the same to them. These guys that are playing now, it's the same league. But they're playing to win. You can see it.